The disappearance of Molly Tibbetts, the Iowa college student who seemingly vanished after going for a run, is surely conjuring up many emotions for families who are desperately seeking answers about their missing loved ones. Here are 10 cases of women and girls who have disappeared. Aisha Degree was nine years old in 2000 when she went missing from Shelby, North Carolina. Her family last saw her sleeping in her bed, but the FBI says she was last seen by drivers walking down a highway around 4 a.m. Her mother told Spectrum News that even after 18 years, Aisha is constantly on her mind. She's the first thing on my mind when I wake up, the last thing on my mind when I go to sleep. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. People see people, see stuff, and they don't want to get involved. 21-year-old Bethany Decker was pregnant when she went missing in 2011. I am praying and I have faith that she's safe. Her mother told WRC-TV she wouldn't have left her two-year-old son behind without an explanation. She's one that would be texting us, calling us. If she, wasn't, if she wasn't speaking to me, she was calling her siblings. She was allegedly having an affair with a man where she lived in Virginia at the time she went missing. While police reportedly said that man is a person of interest in the case, he has never been charged with her disappearance. Erica Bradley hasn't been seen since 2006 when she was 17. Her boyfriend reportedly claimed he left her by the side of the road in South Carolina after they had a fight in his car. He was convicted of killing her and destroying her remains, although he has maintained his innocence. Erica's body was never found. 22-year-old Jamie Michelle Fraley went missing while trying to catch a ride to her local hospital in 2008. Her mother tells local media Jamie had a stomach bug that day and was seeking treatment. Police say they were investigating a person of interest in the case who has since died. It's constantly there. You can't get rid of it. Her family members told WBTV they are still holding out hope for answers. Eventually it comes out because someone else always knows. The family of Jennifer Poole says they haven't heard from her since April of 2010 when she was 38. She was last seen in Bayshore, New York, where she lived at the time. Her purse and other belongings were also missing. It's been 22 years since Kristen Smart disappeared after her friends dropped her off at a frat party. The 19-year-old was a freshman at California Polytechnic State University in San Luis Obispo. Police say they have a person of interest in the case, but have never had enough evidence to make an arrest. In 2006, 45-year-old Lorianne Boffman's car was found abandoned and wrecked in Youngstown, Ohio, a town neighboring where she lived. Authorities say she had left her purse and ID at home, and she has not been seen since. Marizella Perez hasn't been seen since 2011, when she was an 18-year-old freshman at the University of Washington. Her family told local media she was on medication for depression at the time she went missing and was upset about a recent breakup with a boyfriend. Please, please give police, Seattle Police Department, a call. You can find everything about her case at a family website. It's Find Marizella. That's M-A-R-I-Z-E-L-A dot -E com. We just want her home safe. Marizella's cousin has made national television appearances pleading for information on her whereabouts. 50-year-old Marsha Brantley of Tennessee went missing in 2009. Her husband reportedly told authorities that Marsha left him and was filing for divorce. She was never heard from again, and he was indicted for her murder twice. You charging you with first degree murder. The charges against him were dismissed both times before the case could go to trial. Police have never found a body and have reportedly said with no physical evidence, they don't have definitive proof that she is even dead. Her husband's lawyer says his client is innocent. And in 2001, Sharon Eugenia Davis was on her way to work, but never arrived at the Dallas, Texas school where she was a teacher. It was reportedly two days after her lawyer filed for divorce on her behalf. While their circumstances are all different, every single one of these women and girls have one thing in common, families that want to know what happened to them. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.